Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Shovel Knight. I'm Sudogaruto, and first of all, I want to say I apologize for the last episode's format being so weird. Something happened, things got deleted, and so let's just jump straight to the episode. Polar Knight. Okay, Justice in Spades. Let's go. Come on, let's kick some ass here. Oh, the ice levels. Yep, slippery physics. Slippery physics. Here's the breakable wall. Oh shit, there's a bomb there. Okay, I, this is gonna be. A, I, I can tell this is gonna be a recurring uh, gag throughout this entire episode. This is gonna be fucking bombs everywhere. Goddamn Al Qaeda up in this level. Um, okay, here's the. Oh, whoa! I almost. Whoa! I almost died there. Already. I almost died in the, for the first. The first part of the first level of the. Sorry, the first part of the level. That was gonna be weird. And there are these Arctic wolves and there are these beetles. The same beetles that you see everywhere. They should be. They should, that shouldn't be happening because they are of different climates. And here we go, we're just kicking it off with the treasure, huh? It's like nothing, nothing better, nothing better, not a better way to start off this today's episode with the treasure. So that's cool. Uh, let's dig up this pile here. That would have been a lot easier if, like, last episode I would have gotten, um... I would have gotten the... I can upgrade, the trench upgrade? Where you sort of dig up the trench in one dig? Okay, here we have some guy with a spear. Yeah, look at him. He's just standing there. He's going, hey, it looks. Humbai, humbai. Actually, that's racist. That's racist. I probably shouldn't have said that. Uh, <laughs> that's really culturally insensitive. But, um, yeah, I mean, we've got polar guys just shooting us with spears and shit. And their helmets are protective against our spears. And, you know what? They're fat, so that's easy for us to kill them. It's easy. Okay, so let's break this wall. You see, I told you there was another bomb there. I told you, I told you there's gonna be bombs here everywhere. Okay, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at where I have to go now. I feel like this is gonna be difficult to pull off. Like I'm gonna have to break those two blocks and then somehow maneuver into that little gap. But I'll try to do it. Listen, I'll try. I'll try anything, baby. I'll try anything for you. Oh, I oh I, I actually did it. Okay, it's like Tetris. You have to maneuver things into the little gaps. You know what else? You know what else? Yeah, you know what else requires you having to maneuver things in little gaps? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. Tell you what else? Drills. Drilling and construction is definitely what I'm talking. Okay, so we have this fucking wizard here, and he's shooting. Okay, so now the things that he shoots at us. Not only does it have a horizontal trajectory, but it has things that it drops off on the way to its final destination, which is hitting the wall. Um. Oh. Oh, come on. See, slippery physics makes everything, makes the simplest things difficult. That's the thing about, like, I played Mario enough time to know how slippery physics works, and and its downsides, and perhaps its advantages. And, and one thing that slippery physics does is that it makes platforming much worse than it already is. So for a guy like me, who's not very good at platforming, this is hell. This is actually hell. So I'm gonna use the dust knuckles here. I don't know. I haven't used them in a long time. I just feel like this is the perfect place. Have. Look at these fucking bombs here. Who places bombs here? What is this? Who places bombs in the snow? What the hell? You can't do that. That's illegal. Now, there's code in video games development where you, it says, "Thou shall not place bombs in snow." I like how the bombs actually make actual dents in the background. Like, look at you see that dent, that large bullet hole like dent <laughs> just uh, in the background there that was caused by the bomb I like that give this some detail gives make brings a background of life really okay drop down oh shit that scared me son fuck I thought we, I thought this was like the wrong turn to take for a second for a second I was like what's happening here and I saw these puffs of clouds and I just thought am I gonna land on them or am I gonna sink through and then <laughs> Turns out that's I'm guessing it's gonna it's not, that's a, that's another mechanic that's gonna be used in this game, uh, or at least in this level. That's a breakable wall over there, but I think I missed that. I, th I think there's another way to get to it. No, I think we we'll have to skip that. Let me come back to it later. See if there's anything there. But then again, I'm not as I said. I think I said it before. Uh, if I haven't, I'm gonna say it now. I'm not looking to completely 100% this game, like get all the treasures and shit. But I'm I'm going to get all the uh, all the items, all the uh, usable weapons and items. And I'm looking to get all the music sheets. So yes, that's cool. 
That's got what is this? What wait what? Oh Oh, okay, this is a gay pride statue. Oh, that's nice. Speaking of gay pride, there's like a march for marriage equality in my city on next Sunday. Um Oh, wait, no, uh, I, I think I fucked myself up. No, please. Oh, okay, thank God. Yeah, okay, as I was saying, yeah, there's a there's a marriage equality thing for next next Sunday. I might actually attend. Yeah, it seems cool. Um so, okay, so it's cool that it doesn't break the thing, doesn't break the statue. That's what Game Pride is all about. It's, it's all about resilience. You know, when you get hit by shovels in the head and you don't die, that's what that's what Game Pride's all about. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing we have to break, we have to break those two statu uh, two, two sand snow stones really in order to let the statue through. See another bomb, another bomb, the bombs everywhere. The fuck, the the boss of this level is gonna be just one giant. Bomb. It's gonna be Bomberman. It's gonna be Bomberman from '64 and Heroes. That's what's gonna, that's what's, that's what's gonna turn up. Um, actually, yeah, I think he was in SNES as well. Yeah, he was in SNES. I like Bomberman. Anyone ever play Bomberman? Can you play Bomberman, boys? That sounds so weird the way I said that, <laughs> boys. Okay. Oh, I got hit by the thing. Oh, no. Oh, no! Can I actually run those guys over with the statue? With the gay pride statue? I mean, you can run anything with a gay pride statue. It's so powerful. Because gay pride is just that. It's just so powerful. It's like it runs through. It can run over anything. I'm trying to punch it with my death levels. Does that work? Oh, my God, it works! It actually. Oh, my God! I turned the guy into dust with my dust knuckles. Did you see that? Holy shit, that's so cool. Uh, it's it's impractical because it's impractical because I have to get really close to him, like the range is really bad. But shit, it's so it's just, it just looks cool. It's like because you think uh, you think about it, right? It's called dust knuckles, and it's used to punch dust into nothing, or like uh, very scattered particles into nothing. But the fact that I I turn the guy into nothing with my dust knuckles is just so cool because I guess I associated the name. With the action, dust knuckles and turn something into dust. Oh my god, it's just cool. I don't know. Okay, what the fuck is this? Excuse me. No, I can't have this. What is this? Wait. Okay, there are monkeys that are th throwing cameras. How am I supposed to get through this? Well, okay, so it doesn't. It doesn't throw it in the middle of the ladder. No. Okay, it doesn't throw it when you're on the ladder. It's just. It's a. Uh, it's basically. Traversing from ladder to ladder is gonna be a problem with these fucking hammer bros. There we go, another. I can just guarantee you, every like little nook and cranny of this goddamn level is just bombs. It's just. I feel like Al Qaeda and ISIS made this level. This, this, I feel like this is a callback to that other level that we did. I think it was episode 3, episode 4. Maybe episode 2. It was just like the one with the. with the, uh. this is the chemistry level. I don't know what to call it. Ah, uh, here's Chester. Okay, so we just have to touch. We have to touch. We all have to do is touch these puffs of cloud, and we can get, we can stand on them. Oh, and the village out on the field. I have all the deals. I'm not gonna believe what I. Okay, horn, war horn, war horn. What? What? Oh, okay, so I have to blow it, and then it just kills everyone. That's cool. That's pretty cool. It's so costly though! Look at that! Look at that! It's like half my fucking... Did I... Did I... No, I didn't come here with 90. But... I don't know how much it costs though. So I don't know, I don't know actually. I don't actually know how much it costs. So it's erroneous on my part. Uh, here we go. Here we have the knights on the ice. No, so that's... That's the main point of the knights being here on this particular platform. It's not to kill me by stabbing me in the face with a sword. It's to actually push me into the spikes, but oh jokes on him! Jokes on you boy! See I pushed you into the spikes now. See huh? Yeah you how how you like that? You got you got dead. We got deaded. You got deaded so hard. Okay. So oh okay. We have to be careful here. Because like this removing it, all these obstructions can lead, lead to our death. We have another one of these gay pride statues. Um Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I, I'm not even gonna plan this. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna fuck it. Fuck! I'm not. I'm not. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not. Please don't die. Please don't die. No! Yes, I did it. I did it. Yes. I, what? How am I gonna? Oh, are they invincible? At the, are they invincible? 
I think it's only that red sack that's in, in, that's vulnerable. I think they're, yeah, okay. Okay, I need to jump! And I didn't get that ruby, but I don't care. I don't care, because I got pears. Um, oh fuck, these, these fucking monkeys are just goddamn annoying. Hammer bros in any game are annoying. Just ones that just throw hammers rapidly, they're just, ugh, they're frustrating. I don't know about you guys, but when I played Mario and I had to face the hammer brothers, for the first time, like the goddamn Koopas that throw hammers all the time. I just, ah, I got so annoyed. Oh, this is risky. This is, this is risky. This is, this is killing me right now. I can't. How do I get these things? How do I get? I'm not jumping off and then going back. I'm not risking that. No way. That's a big risk for me to take. I'm not a, I'm not a big risk taker. All right. I don't have that much testosterone. I'm goddamn five seven. All right. Shit. I'm more calculating than that. Okay. Ah, uh, I killed all of them. That's great. Um, ah, uh, okay. So, let's wait for this guy to get off and to move away. I do oh, what? Shit, shit. And, ooh. Be careful not to, not to down attack too much because then we'll have to hit the, uh, the snow stones and then we get killed by the spikes. And you know what that means. I actually had a little bit of a heart attack when I got down to that section where I, I had to do, I had to rely on that enemy for support because I, I it didn't like when you first into a room it doesn't render anything. So like you can imagine my shock when I went into the room and there was nothing there for a split second and it felt like I was falling down. But anyway, I got the treasure. I got a treasure. Sorry. Um, and so now. Gonna, okay, we're gonna. You know, first, first things first. I am the realist, right? But now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kill that magician there because he's gonna block everything. And I think there's a, there's a room behind him, but uh... oh, sh oh, damn it! Ah, fuck. Okay, fuck. Goddamn stupid physics. God damn it! Like, fuck. I keep. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down, there, boy. Jump now. Jumped out. Jump and hit him in his head. Hit him on his head. Hit him on his head. There we go. See, the weakness of these magicians is that if you hit him on the head, they can't do anything about it. So you can just. Okay. Wow. Wow. This is harder than it looks, guys. You don't even fucking know this. Holy shit. The slippery physics is killing. No. Damn it. No. What? Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Jump onto this platform here? Here we go, thank god, okay. No. Just jump onto this one and- ARE YOU SHITTING ME?! ARE YOU SHITTING ME?! ARE YOU- Okay, okay, get that last one. Come on. Okay, calm down here. Don't do anything rash. Just calm down. I've been through enough today. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. I think that's all of it. That's all of our- yeah, that's obviously that's all of our- but I don't think we've missed anything. Like, I don't think we've died another time and then- and then made a loss in our gold, that's what I meant. Okay, we're back here again, and thank god the magician's not here, so- but even if the magician was there, it'd be easy to take him out. Anyway, here are these puffs of clouds again, and here's this thing, it's just diving now. I feel like there's two- there's two types of these uh, enemies here, these gliding enemies, but I don't know what to call them, they don't have names. It's not like it's not like in Legend of Zelda where you get to scan the enemy and, I, and you can find out their names, what they're called. Whoa, whoa, that was so close. Okay, can I kill that enemy there? Can I kill the enemy? I feel like I want to kill the enemy there. I want to go slow on this um, because this is basically a field of spikes, of you know, of spikes, and there are there are enemies coming from from every fucking direction, and there's a music note there, and I really want it. Uh, so here we go, and then jump to the lead to the platform. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so I feel like I should kill it now. Damn it! Okay. Come on. Yeah, one more hit. One more hit. Yeah, no. Come on. What the fuck? Hit it. Okay, th I'm so bad at this. Wow. I feel like I feel like my self-esteem just dropped by 20 points just because of that atrocious gameplay footage. Um, but yeah, that was that was it. That's Shovel Knight for you boys. That's Shovel Knight when I play it, actually. 
I feel like I take away from the good from the experience of Shovel Knight just by playing it. Like anyone who watches this game is gonna be like, anyone who watches me play this Let's Play, this game is gonna be like, oh no, this game's too bad. It's gonna, it's gonna be difficult and shit. But this is a lot. I think this is a lot easier than I make it look because I'm just bad. I'm just bad at platformers in general. So here's a thing here. We get the chicken, and this is I think the last. Um, room for the boss, and hello there! Oh, but Polar Knight, so my old friend, day has finally come. This will be our final duel. Should we not lay down our shovels and part as equals? Humph, the order has no equals, surely you can recognize power. Join us! You've forgotten our oath, what happened to the proud warrior I knew? Oomph, no more wars, a bit of cold will claim you! Oh, I get why they're friends, because they both have shovels! Oh, this one isn't called the, the Shovel Knight because he's in the polar regions. Oh, uh, two items in the list of obvious things that Sudoguro forgot. Um, okay, oh, this looks. This is kind of. This is fun. This is f not fun. I keep saying fun when I should be saying easy. But it's not easy. Look, I'm gonna fuck myself up now. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna end up with. I'm gonna kill this boss, right? But I'm gonna end up having like. Two nodes of health left, or something like that. I'll be almost dead. See that? See? Oh, whoa! I actually hit the spikes, but because of the invincibility, like you get for a couple of seconds before, after getting hits, I did not. See? Look at that! Three puffs of health, uh, three nodes of health, and I killed him. But I got three nodes of health left. Wow! That's shit. I got 18, 18 magic pots, jars, whatever. 18 magic points left. I got my. I still got my. Go I didn't die, so I still got my gold. And here we are, just chilling at the campfire, you know, just like, be like, yeah, you know what I mean? Just, this is, this is the life here, I'm gonna go to sleep. I ain't got my shovel knight, I don't got my shield knight with me, though. That would be cool. And... Wake up! Grab a brush and put a little makeup. Okay, get all of our, only shovel knight, only I would do this. Only I would think of that practicality. That's one of the locks gone. What? Who is this? Is this... What? Okay. Okay, let's go to the village now. Alright, the village, and we got, uh, giving the music shit and shit. We go over to... To this guy here. Hey, want some more? Yes, I do, baby! Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. I, you're, I'm so sure it's not even funny. Yeah, that's the guy we just... Unlocked. Okay, so let's go fight him. Oh, it's beautiful sunset. Would you look at that? Oh, dance. And it's evening. Ooh, the thunder guy. What magic is power, honor, the traits of respectable warrior? Sir, I don't believe we've met. We meet today on the field of battle. We beat a few of knights and travel far. Today we fight. Stand aside, yeah, I have no reason to fight. Conflict is a reason to dissolve brave knight. Today will be tested. Are you ready? Ooh, these guys. These guys prepared. Look at him. He's prepared. He's got pairs. He's eating all them hair. That's how he got. That's how he lost weight. That's why he's so skinny. And even his sword is skinny. Like, look at my shovel compared to his little tiny stick. He's shooting fucking thunder at me. Look at this. I don't have this. I don't have. Oh, I do have. I do have this kind of. Um. Okay. So. Oh. 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 Okay. There's another one. So he's shooting two rows of one column. I don't want that. Okay, so come on, can I, can I not hit him? Okay, so like, fireballs are invincible. So my projectiles don't work, but his projectiles apparently does. So I don't have anything to combat it, except for my phase blocker, which takes away thousands of my magic points. Oh wow, my name is, my name is Yacht Club Games, and I'm gonna make this really stupidly difficult. I'm not, I'm, I'm bitching about this really stupidly, and I died. I'm bitching about, I'm not even bitching, this is, this is a joke. Okay, so we we are doing fine. We're doing well, right? Um, and we haven't we haven't suffered major damage. I mean, okay, we're down by three, but he's down by six or six and a half, no seven. He's down by seven now, so that's cool. And we're down by five. five. Okay, well, that really put things into perspective for me. Uh, okay, okay. He's turning into thunder now. He's turning into these little bolts. Okay. I feel these, these little bolts remind me of Metroid Prime. Okay, we killed him with the fireball, which we somehow, for some reason, we assumed that didn't work. 
3,000, yes! And he's on a business feed, look, he's behind us. I actually sneezed just now, but I cut it out because I don't want you guys hearing me. I don't, you know, you don't want to hear a guy sneeze, right? That's just stupid. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of Shovel Knight. If you liked this episode, please click the like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. I'm Pseudo Gerudo, and I am out.